stuff you bought or stuff you made? Stuff you made. Water! I mean, the surprise that when you did mine, that thing, it would surprise me that I buy it. Uh, you make it. Mm. Tone, thanks for the stuff. Down to zero clone. Asunder, bad guys who like to loot and plunder. Oh, man. Woo! How's Saturday treating you, huh? Did you get some cool downtime? If you have the weekend off, you gotta get a little time for yourself. That's a big part of mental health. Which can slip between the cracks when physical health is the main crisis. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Don't forget to listen to the experts on masks, distancing, and everything else. Although vaccines are going on, they are still safety rules. We have to follow even after getting our shots, okay? While well, we work together on the road back to normal. Mm. That sounded powerful. I just got goosebumps when I said that. H2, meanwhile, is as normal as ever. We're still throwing up 12 tough ones to stand in between you, and if you've got the know-how to maneuver past them, your share of the $5,000 prize pot. Or a little burger told me that you can turbocharge your weekend excitement with a VIP Get up in the VIP, y'all. That makes you eligible for a taste of the VIP pot worth $1,500, which splits up big since only the ticket holders who win the game get any of it. As long as we sell 100 tickets, VIP is on like Donkey Kong. But he pay a big sales stop at 150. Give you to go if you're feeling lucky and uh, smart. And capping off our big week of charities helping women and girls, we've got a great one, okay? Live your dream. Providing women and girls with access to the education and training they need to achieve economic empowerment. In every country in the world, women and girls face obstacles and discrimination because of their gender. Live Your Dream empowers them with their two core programs, education and training grants for women and career support for girls. Thousands of beneficiaries report higher self-esteem, standard of living, and feeling of safety thanks to the program. Dedicated to giving women and girls the opportunity to reach their full potential, be free from violence, and live their dreams. So HQ is making a donation to live your dream and spreading the word, all right? You can check them out and all their work at liveyourdream.org. And they can always use a little more help. So look them up and hook them up. Hey, oh, man, I got to tell you all about this. This is some big news right here, okay? Right before Q1. Hall of Trivia makes its return on HQ this Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Season 2 is going to be bigger, badder, and tougher than ever. With bigger prizes, more ways to win, and a lot of excitement. So you don't want to miss that. Tuesday, join Jeff Eisenband this Tuesday for March Madness theme game and $10,000 prize. All right? We'll see you then. And don't forget the Grammy Awards game tomorrow night with a special clip-heavy theme game. It's going to be fun. I wouldn't miss it. I can't. I have to be here, and I'm excited. Woo! I do think that snubbing the weekend was a terrible decision on behalf of the Academy, but, uh, you know, he will get another one. No, Asaf, the weekend did not get even a nomination this year. He re-snubbed them after their snubbing of him. It was a snub snub. A snub, a snub dub, a dub snub. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I don't need. I don't even know how he sounds. I don't even need your nomination. I made him sound like Michael Jackson for no reason. <laughs> but that song, Blinded by the Light, is literally everywhere. Ooh, I'm blinded by the light. No, I can't put you till I feel your touch. Okay. So, you all set to grab that ice axe and scale Mount Miscellaneous? You can feel it in the air when it's time for a trivia game. The wind dies down, the neighborhood dogs get quiet, and now there's only one thing to worry about for the next few minutes. Yes, right here. We're entering the gladiator arena of the mind where only the savvy survive. So don't let your guard down. Don't let your thousands and thousands of other opponents intimidate you. And now there's nothing to it but to HQ it with question number one. Which American is commonly credited with inventing the light bulb? Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, or Benjamin Franklin? Ooh, he's blinded by the light bulb. 
Don't be blinded by the light bulb. Franklin helped by unlocking some of the mysteries of electricity. And then there were other innovators along the way. But basically, we're, we're reading by firelight until uh, Edison lit up the room. It's lit! Yeah. The 1880s was the decade where it caught on. 39,712 players. Just figure that out. Q2, babies. The central object in the sport of hockey is what shape? Cylinder, frustum, or prism? Hockey. Quack, 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 quack. Some would argue that this is a kind of circular prism, but math doesn't roll like that, okay? Or like a cylindrical hockey puck. It'd be a different game with a prism, though, that's for sure. <laughs> 35,106 in the mix, babies! Cylinder! Hockey puck. Yeah. Q3 in the place to be. Which of these animals is most closely related to a stoat? Aardvark, otter, or German shepherd? A stoat, y'all! Which of these is most closely related to a stoat? Okay, no, not one of those heavy beers. That's a stout. I'm talking about a stoat, okay? A kind of animal uh, lately famous for damage to New Zealand. That's because the stoat is a pervasive cousin to the otter. A, a cousin to the stout is a porter, and they are delicious. 29,868 players got that right. Otter, little cute babies laying on their back, eating clams and whatnot. Oh, that's so cute. Q4, knocking on your door. Which of these artists has not performed a James Bond theme song? Adele, Beyonce, or Billie Eilish? Thanks to the pandemic, Bond themes can come out almost two years before the film, as we learned from No Time to Die by Billie Eilish. And we all remember the powerful Skyfall by Adele, but Queen Bee hasn't got her chance yet. Yet. Beyonce! Beyonce? 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 22,957 players got it right. Beyonce, babies! I don't think you're ready for this theme song. I don't think you're ready for this theme song. Cause my bond song too bootylicious for you, babe. Q5. For the bootyliciousness. Which TV show was set the farthest west? Cheers, Family Matters for Mark and Mindy. The farthest west. All right, no way is Cheers the answer. It's way out east in Boston, Massachusetts. The Winslows are much further west out in Chicago, but Mork's egg-shaped craft landed in Boulder, Colorado. Nano Nano. 20,823 players got it right. It's higher than Denver, so it was a shorter trip for him. Look at that. Yeah, R.I.P. to the goat, Robin Williams. Word. Question number six, and it goes a little something like this. Where would you wear the clothing known as a crackow? Head, feet, or waist? A crackow. Doctor said I need a bacchiotomy. Okay, interestingly enough, these are named after the Polish city, but they were worn far outside of it. They were stylish and sharp. Very sharp, since they were pointy-toed shoes. They might have been a little rough on the toes as well. 11,124 players got that right. The feet, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Question number seven, babies. The Warring Kingdoms and the Princess Bride are named for what? Birds, coins, or dresses? I love this movie so much. Much of the story involves the endless war between Florin and Gilder, which never really existed in the real world. The Gilder was German and the Florin was Italian, but... They're both spending Euro coins now. Morgenstern was full of references. Coins, babies. Wav, Twu, Wav, Mowage. Sweet, sweet Mowage. 
is what brings us together. <laughs> oh, you killed my father, prepare to die. Question number eight. No, you're feeling great. Which of these particles is known to have mass? Gluon, neutrino, or photon? Looking for the one with some mass to it. All right, these are three of the lightest guys known to science. At one time, it was assumed all were completely massless, but they found a subatomic beer gut on the neutrino. Yeah. 11,515 players got that one right. Mysteriously, though, it seems to, uh, to travel at light speed somehow. You can do it. That's, uh, that's motivation for me. If the neutrino got mass and could travel at light speed, I could at least walk on the treadmill for 45 minutes. Question number nine. <laughs> what is the highest grossing film of all time in global box office? Avatar, Avengers, Endgame, or Titanic? All right, just checking how well you keep up with current events because thanks to a Chinese re-release this weekend, James Cameron is again the king of the world with Earth's number one film, Avatar. That's all we've got while we're waiting for the sequels. 11,425 of you got it right. Yes. Also, can you believe Asaf has never seen this movie? He was living under a rock. Come on. Come on, I see you. I see you. I see, he doesn't even know what I'm talking about. I see you. He doesn't get it because he hasn't seen the movie. When you watch it, you're going to text me later. I see you too. I see you as well. And then we'll take our ponytails and hook them up to a tree. Question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in. Which Pac-Man ghost has offspring who has appeared in a game? Blinky, Inky, or Pinky? All right, if you cruised arcades in the 80s, you might have uh, seen the moderate hit Junior Pac-Man, the one with the scrolling maze and the cutscenes uh, that told of forbidden love between uh, Junior and Yum Yum, daughter of Blinky. Blinky's the red one. 3,902 players got that one right. Blinky! That's a savage question as well. Oh! Fire flames. <laughs> yeah, babies. 3,902 of you are moving on to question 21. Q11. All stoats go to heaven. Andy Warhol was reportedly buried with perfume made by who? Chanel, Estee Lauder, or Hermes? Andy loved designer scents. And as the story goes, his employee Paige Powell honored him by tossing a bottle of Beautiful by Estee Lauder right in the ground with him. They never worked it into their advertising, though. 7,843 of you got it right. That's, uh, that's very funny because I have been wearing a cologne for the longest, at least a year, until the bottle ran out. And then when I went to order it again, I found out it was a women's perfume. Yes, Versace Crystal Noir. I know, right? I just be smelling myself like, why am I so attracted to me? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I was about to ask me for my number. <laughs> hey, excuse me, you? <laughs> yes, me? What you doing tomorrow night? All right, Q12. Final question of the game, babies. Woo! Which of these is common in Hawaii? Rabies, squirrels, or something? Hawaii. Hawaii is mighty far from the U.S. mainland, so a few things are bound to be a little different, okay? And currently, on your next vacay out there, you'd be most likely to deal with sunflowers. Oh, splitsy doozies! 2,789 players just won HQ Trivia, baby! Yeah! Come on, 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 bam, 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 bam. I'm the new leader, I'm the new leader, I'm the new leader. Why is man? Why does the swamp have to be so bloody muddy? 
William Jim. Same, same five. Jonas Sayed. Emma 3535. Alma Pia. Mordo 77. Bo L. Everybody's a dollar and 80 cents richer. Good job. Tara Labaria. Daniel Cha. Big MFG. <laughs> JJ Langosad. Smith 875. Beautiful family. Look at you and your kids just hanging out, enjoying the sun. Yeah. That's, that look that picture, Smith 875, that's a beautiful picture. That look like one of the photos that come when you buy, you ever buy a picture frame and they got the family already in it. And then you'd be like, I don't know these people. And you take it and throw it out. I would leave that picture in the frame and just tell everybody y'all was my cousins. <laughs> I would just leave it. Just on a nice stand or in the living room. People be like, oh wow, that's your family? Yeah, that's my brother James and uh, the Smiths. It's my Smith family. Another stellar performance by all the winners, and we certainly thank you for taking a little time out of your evening to mix it up with me and us and all everything we do. <laughs> Come on by next time you feel like getting your brain tickled. <laughs> Once again, Hall of Trivia with Jeff Eisenban returns Tuesday, an hour before the main game, with big money and more thrills in season two. And tomorrow is Grammy night. I bet one of your favorite artists will be in the game somewhere. So don't miss it, all right? Remember that charity, Live Your Dream, fighting violence against women and girls and preparing them for success in life. Visit them at liveyourdream.org. See how you can help. Until we talk again, this is Money Flippin' Matt Richard saying, we need a special Nobel Prize for whoever invents a microwave that can do thick soups without, like, exploding them. You know what I'm saying? Right? That's not weird. Like, we can go to Mars and everything, but I still got to wipe the ceiling every time I'm trying to heat up my chowder. Only me? 